Welcome to another Daily Classics Top Pick based on originality, condition, and price. Today's feature car is a 1970 Pontiac GTO. My name is Rob Lofaris. You're watching the Daily Classics channel. Let's go check it out. I normally don't hunt down cars in the $50,000 price range, but this car found me this morning on Facebook, so I thought I'd share it. It's a 1970 Pontiac GTO with numbers matching. It has the 400 cubic inch engine, four speed transmission. The seller's a dealer and he's asking $49,998. You know, the redesigned second generation GTO ran from 1968 to 1972 and introduced a whole new body design for the car line. The car became more rounded, uh, the windshield wipers were hidden, and the most important part of the car was the Endura front bumper. And every year from 1968 to 1972, Pontiac made sure that you can tell the difference in every year with subtle changes in bumper design and rear bumper uh, look. Uh, that was enough to make you know, hey, that's a 68, hey, that's a 69. And for 1970, they didn't stop. And the 70, basically, they did away with the hideaway headlamps and introduced this all new look for the car, which I think really is a nice execution. I think the car looks really nice. The steering and suspension was upgraded as the cars, you know, got older and such. And the engine options uh, was still the 400 cubic inch engine uh, V8 as standard equipment. And then you can get the 400 Ram Air. You can get the ultra rare Ram Air 4 which was different heads. And then you can get the 455 high output engines. So those two engines, the Ram Air 4 and the 455 are super rare to find today. And then you'll see those cars at Barrett Jackson going for $100,000 every now and then. But this normal everyday 1970 GTO with a four speed transmission is really all you need to really enjoy some high performance. And this is a base car. There's not and there's no air conditioning on the car and there's no power group. And I'm thinking that that hood tack might have been something they added when they did the restoration. When we look at the ad and go through a digital walk around for $50,000, um, you would hope that the photographs would be more current. And these photographs here are from the spring or summer. And then in this price range, too, you would like to see some undercarriage photos. And there's no undercarriage photos with the exception to the engine bay. And the engine bay looks really nice, uh, but the radiator shroud here could have been detailed a little better. And I'm hoping that this isn't body shop uh, type dust on the car. Uh, but again, I'm being very picky. Otherwise, the car looks nice. We don't know if this was a frame on restoration uh, or a rotisserie type restoration where the actual frame is removed from the body. Uh, in this price range, um, you know, it should be near perfect. Uh, let's put it that way. Uh, looking at the car from what I can see on the digital walk around, the car looks really nice. It sits real well. It has this beautiful red interior. I'm thinking the colors are original for the car. Um, the interior looks great. The only thing I can see is maybe the radio isn't original and they may have put a replace the uh, dash pad because the dash doesn't match the glove box or they replace the glove box and the glove box doesn't match the dash, but normally the people do is they replace the, the uh, dashboard because it does crack uh, and warp over time, you know. But other than that, the car looks uh, really original, 64,000 miles in with a five-digit odometer. It's always true mileage unknown unless the seller can prove that, you know, through some type of documentation that this car is indeed uh, a 64,000 mile original car. And of course, with the Pontiac Historical Society, you can check the VIN and you can make sure that the engine codes and the, and everything from the engine heads, the codes, the to the, uh, you know, the exhaust manifolds uh, should all match when somebody says matching numbers. Um, because in 1970, you could match, I think the engine was matched to the actual build, build plate back then, but that's it. I mean, the car looks really nice. Um, I'm thinking it's a beautiful car. I'm not feeling $50,000 beautiful. Uh, most of the members on our Facebook page felt that the car was in the high thirties. Um, I would give it the benefit of doubt. I'd probably go 40 on the car and, uh, make some type of offer on it after seeing the car in person. It could be a consignment type deal where the owner brings the car to a dealer and he tries to sell the car for the dealer, I mean, for the customer, and then mocks it up accordingly. A lot of times when classic cars like this sit around for a while, um, they're holding a price uh, 
where you know you go in there and you start offering 42 and there's no movement on the car you know there no there's no anxious to sell it sometimes but um, i think fifty thousand dollars is on the high mark for this car but it's worth if you're looking for a really nice example this might be a car to check out uh it's in massachusetts you know take the ride and look at it you know during the cold weather you never know what kind of deal you can put together but that's about wraps up today's uh walk around uh top pick for the day to get all the details on the cars we find each day click on the daily classics facebook link in the description on this youtube channel and subscribe to this channel as well thank you all for your support this channel is growing every day and it's nice to see We'll see you here again tomorrow on Daily Classics. Till then, enjoy and have a good night. Thank you.